a time to plant and a time to pluck up that which is planted. A time to kill and a time a time to do what? A time to kill. A time to do what? A time to kill and a time to heal. A time to heal. A time to break down and a time to build up. It's a time to break down and a time to build up. So sis, we are here trying to build up our people, right? Isn't that what Jewel Teeth is about? Coming together, gathering together, give us and I too, trying to build together, come back, not to argue and fight, right? But when we have the Bible open, people hate that. They want to fight, right? Go ahead. Right. A time to weep and a time to laugh. A time to cry and a time to laugh, right? We cried for what? 500 plus years? Slavery, cut all the way till now. We still crying, right? Even all year, this year. How much of us got killed by the so-called white man? But you got white people walking around in the midst of y'all, eating hot dogs and gleases. Right? But then when tomorrow comes, we're going to be shooting you again in the street. Right. Ch choke you out in the damn hair salon, right? Yelling at you, right? The, 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 the Chinese man, right? Go ahead. A time to mourn, a time to dance, a time to a time to do what? To dance. What, 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 what these niggas out here doing? A time to dance. These people out here dancing, right? They think it's a time to dance, right? Go ahead. A time to cast away stones, a time to gather stones together, a time to embrace. It said a time to cast away stones, a time to gather stones together. You gotta cast away all these evil people. Cast away the white man, the Chinese man, and gather with your people, right? Don't be all here eating hamburgers and fried with the so-called white man. Go ahead. A time to embrace, a time to refrain. A time to do what? A time to refrain from enemy, uh, from embracing. Yeah, uh, go ahead. A time to get, a time to lose, a, a, a time to lose, so I, a time to keep, a time to cast away, a time to rend, a time to sow, a time to keep silence, a time to speak. A time to do what? A time to speak. Haven't we been silent for over 400 years? So we've been silent, right? We haven't been saying nothing, right? We, we take whatever smoke they give us, right? But now's the time to speak, right? Go ahead. Uh, a time to love. A time to do what? A time to love. A time to hate. A time to do what? A time to hate. It's the time to hate, sis, right? right? So let me ask you a question. Do you love the white man? Come on, your, your, afro, your, afro, your afro way too big. Oh, your afro, your afro is way too nice and beautiful for you to Careful, it sis, takes, no, it takes too much energy to hate someone. You know takes too much energy, right? Okay. That's cool. Read that so part again, okay. right? But it's gonna come a time, right, guy? I'm sorry, it's about to rain. I, I get it. You gotta get up out of here. I got you. A time to love, a time to hate, uh -huh. a time for of war. A time for what? A time of war. Uh -huh. And a time of peace. And a time of peace. So right now it's not a time of peace. It's a time for war. Because the white man is at war with us. Whether you like it, believe it, subscribe to it or not. You see the news every day? We at war. But we want to come out here, hold hands. I see a lot of black women out here with their, with their little white boyfriends, their little white husbands, walking up right. and down, right? Fact. Anything that, anything that they out here, they, they, they think because they they're with the white man, they're privileged, right? Right. But, they, but to, to the black man's eyeball, to our eyes, you sold out. Right. You sold out. That's a fact. Yeah, huh? Amos chapter 5, verse 15. Bring it up. Hate the evil. evil. Hey, who? Hate, hate the, the evil. evil. What's the so-called white man? Hate, hate the, the evil. What's the Chinese man? Hate the evil. What's the Japanese man? Hate, hate the evil. What's the East Indian man? Hate the evil. What's the Arab man? Hate, hate the evil. evil. Uh -huh. And love, love the, the good. good. Love who? And love, love the good. good. Is that sis? And love, love the good. good. Her children? And love, love the good. good. You see that sis? We gotta hate the evil and love good, man. Right. We gotta hate right. these other nations and love our people, man. Because we are the righteous, right? Right? Uh, yes, we, question. Go ahead. Give me the number seven and six. Yeah, because I know we have to get about it. Go ahead. You don't think that with, with that just right now, I'm just going to hold it. Are you saying I'm just going to hold it? What? Yeah, you don't love your people? No, of course. Okay. Go ahead. So you're going to just hold it? Right, because the most side deals with a balance. We have love and hate, right? Right? Like I said, it's a, it's a time for all of that. So right now, it's not a time for love. It's a time for war and hate, right? The white man have war and hate in his heart. He don't say, oh, it's a time. No, he's, he hates you regardless of you, no matter what time or, 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 or whatever season. Right? So we have to have the same spirit until our people get back on top as, as our ruling class. Right? Do you want to rule in the kingdom of heaven? Right. So we have to be able to put people at the bottom of us, keep people at, at the bottom of our feet. Because we can't put the white man in our kingdom. What do you think he going to do? He going to enslave you once again. So you have to gather with your people. Have I ain't gonna say walk around hating everybody, right? I'm not saying I'm just an angry ass nigga, no. But I have to know how to focus on building our people up, right? And when the white man come up here and wanna talk, I don't wanna talk to you, bro. I have no time for that. I'm trying to talk to you and, 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 and the blacks and the Latinos, everybody that's on this sign. 
Because we're the people that discontinue from our heritage, right? Let me get that in Jeremiah 17 and 4. Let me get that. I got, I got you holding. I got you. Con, the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7, verse 6. For thou art in holy people. We are what? Unholy people. Okay. Unto the Lord thy God, the Lord thy God have chosen thee. Chosen who? Have chosen thee. What's your name, sis? Katie? Indy. Indy? Indy, right, guy? Have chosen Indy uh -huh. to be a special people. To be who? To, to be, be a special, special people. people. So God's talking to the Israelites, right? Moses, I'm mean, actually right, but it's coming through the Most High God. He says He's chosen us to be a special people. Go ahead. Unto Himself. Unto Himself. That's possessive, right? Unto Himself. Ain't your kids special to you? Are they special to everybody else? No, that's your kids, right? Go ahead. Above. Who? Above. No, equal to. Above. above. See that, Indy? We are above, right? All people. people. No, some people. All, All people. people. Uh -huh. That are upon, upon the, the face, face of the, of the earth. earth. So we are above everybody that's on the face of the earth, right? Go ahead. On. The Lord did not set his love upon you, nor choose you, because you were more in number than any people. For you were the fewest of all people. But because the Lord loved you. Because he loved who? Because the Lord the loved, loved you. you. Because the Lord loved you, God. And because he will keep the oath which he had sworn unto your father. So the Most High sworn to our forefathers that he was going to save us in these last days, right, sis? And you, were, and you see you see someone that sound you said, right? So, so what tribe would you be from? On your father's side, would you be a so-called African-American woman? Or your father from the Caribbean or, 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 the, or the Northern Kingdom tribes? Puerto Rico, Dominica? African-American. Your father's a so-called black man, right? That's what he would be, a so-called black man. So you'll be from the tribe of Judah, sis, right? That's one of the head tribes of the tribes of Israel, right? That's the tribe that Christ came from. Look at that in Hebrews, right? That's the tribe that, that, so, that Christ came from. Because you would think, so you ever believe about, you, you unbelieve in Christ? You believe in God? You believe you believe in Jesus Christ? Why not? Because he's the son of God. Now you talking about the white man? Who you talking about? You talking about the white man? I know you talking about the white man. But that's not who Jesus looks like. He doesn't look like the so-called white man. That image that he gave us is a, is, a, is a damn lie. So we out here preaching who Jesus Christ really is. Our forefather. Not that cracker with the blue eyes and the blonde hair. Right. Now let me show you that for future future edifications. When you leave here, you can know, okay, damn, the brothers read to me what he looked like. So when I see that image, I can know, yeah, that's a damn devil. And you gotta teach your kids the same thing. Cause you don't want her to see the TV and think that white people don't always look more better than her, right? Go ahead. Let me get Hebrews real quick. Hebrews 7 and 14. For it is evident. It is what? It is evidence that our Lord. Our who? Our Lord. Our who? Our Lord sprang out of Judah. What he sprang out of? Sprang out of Judah. What he sprang out of? Sprang out of Judah. So Christ will be your, your brother. Right. By bloodline. I'm from the tribe of Benjamin. I'm from, I'm from the Caribbean islands. We got brothers here from all different tribes up here. But we coming together. You ever see the black and Latinos come together? No, we always at war, but we up here in unity, right? So it says, so let me show you what Christ looked like real quick. Go ahead, Revelation. All right, let me get that. Let me get that. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 1. It's the book of Revelation, right, sis? Chapter 1, verse 14. His head and his hairs. His what? His head and his hairs were what? Were white like wool. What color was it? White like wool. That's just the guy that had? White like wool. So Christ had white and woolly hair. Who got woolly hair over here? It's on top of your damn head. You got woolly hair too. We all got him. Right, we all got some shit. The point is that he looked like us. He had woolly hair. He didn't have long, doggy, stringy hair like the so-called white man. He didn't have hair like this devil right here. Look at him. Look at him, sis. Yeah, he didn't have hair like that. He wasn't red, right? Go ahead. As white as snow. What color was it? As white as snow. Uh-huh. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. His eyes wasn't from fire because his eyes was red, right? It wasn't blue like that devil back there, right? Because he gave, his people gave us that image so we could think that Christ looked like his people, right? So if Christ looked like his people, then who the hell is our God? Who, who, who the hell is our Savior? Because every, every nation have their God. They got Buddha, they got Buddha, you got Krishna, right? You got all these different uh, gods. Then who's our Savior? He gave us his image, right? But Christ, don't, if, if my God looked like him, I'm going to jump off a damn building right now. Go ahead. And his feet. And his what? And, and his, his feet. feet. And his what? Like and his feet. Now it says and his feet. You can see that you um you can see your feet, right? The same color as the rest of your body, right? Go ahead. And his feet, like unto fine brass. What color? Unto fine brass. What color is brass? Brown. What color are you? Go ahead. As if they burned in a furnace. So if you take that color brown, you put it in the furnace, you burn it. What color would it come out? Black. So what would Christ be according to the scriptures? Black. So you need to believe on your God because he looks just like you. He looks just like us. So when you see the black man, you cannot have hate in your heart for the black man. I say you do, 
but a lot of our sisters do. They walk past, roll their eyes, they look like they got eyelashes all the way up top of their goddamn head, right? They hate us. If, all right, we ain't gonna get into it, I know, I know women are super sensitive when it comes to... Go ahead. Let me, t let me give you one better. We all go through trauma, right? Because you ever heard of postpartum depression? When you have a baby, right, you have a lot of stress, the baby come out kind of... So we are the product of slavery, ain't we? So our forefathers had postpartum stress, and we are the children of the slaves, right? So are we not gonna be out here messed up in the head? So we all go through it. Women go through their fear share, we go through our fear share. The same way your back is against the wall, my back is against the wall, right? The white man killing us. I ain't see him shooting all the sisters in the street, he killing us. He would eradicate the black man from off of the face of the earth. And then he gonna take our sisters, right? So you come around, you see all these women walk around with these damn little white men on their hand, like this hugged up, thinking that they made it, right? But every time she have a baby, but that is 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 the um, seat of the devil, because there's no such thing as a mixed person on the planet. I don't care if you have a baby with a damn white man; he's still a cracker baby, and he get he get put to slavery. You believe in slavery? Yeah, the Bible describes slavery. Do you know that? The Bible said they go put to slavery. Let me get Isaiah 14. Let me get Revelation. Um, Revelation. 13. Yeah, God. Bring out Revelation. You got it. You got it. You got it first. God. There's a book of Revelation, chapter 13, verse 10. He that leadeth into captivity. He that leadeth into captivity. Who leadeth into captivity? So called white man, he took us from the west coast of Africa, led us into captivity. It says, He that leadeth into captivity, go ahead, and shall go, go shall do what? Shall go into captivity. Go ahead. He that killeth with the sword, he that killeth with the sword. Who get killed with the sword out here today? Sword is an instrument of death. The gun, it could be a damn literal sword. Let's go ahead. Must be killed with the sword. He must do what? Must be killed with the sword. So the so-called white people that took us to the captivity, they gotta be killed by the sword. Am I telling you to go out there and kill white people? No, I'm not telling you to do that. But when the most I come back, he put the spirit on us. It's a simple fact that that's right. right here, right? It's the book of Isaiah, chapter 14, verse 1. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob. The Lord will have mercy on who? On Jacob. Jacob with the 12 sisters, 12 tribes. My sister guy. And will choose Israel. And set them in their own land. Since you want to go back to your homeland? So let me ask you a question. Where's your homeland? Africa? How you know that? Where in Africa you come from? So you just so you just so our people we just pick that place because we black, so we just pick Africa, right? Egypt, we not but well, the Israelites were slaves in Egypt. Who did Moses take out of Egypt? Let my people go. You're not familiar with the story? All right, well, we're not Egyptians up here, right? The Egyptians had the Israelites in slavery, right? And today we in modern, we in modern Egypt. Revelation 13? We in modern day slavery, right? Go ahead. And the strangers, and the who? The strangers, and the strangers, the other people, the other nations, go ahead. Shall be joined with them. Shall be joined with us, right? Going back to our homeland, right? And they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. And the people shall take them. Do what? The people shall take them and bring them to their place. And the house of Israel shall possess them. Shall do what? Shall possess them. Since we're going to possess the other nations, right? Go ahead. If you possess something, what does that mean? If something is in your possession, what does that mean? I'm sorry, I ask a lot of questions up here. So with me, you got to pay attention. And, and I speak fast too, so I know you got to feed the baby right. Go ahead, that's cool. And shall possess them in the land of the Lord for servant. For what? For servant. White man gonna be? Servant. The Chinese man gonna be? Servant. What they gonna be? Servant. Uh -huh. And handmaids. And what? And handmaids. Uh, sis, do you want servants and handmaids? Be fair, we got your back. Just say it. You don't want servants and handmaids? I'll take them. Go ahead. That's right. The book of Revelation, chapter 11, verse 8. And their dead bodies shall so lie in the streets okay, of the great city. I have, I have a now, let me finish this real quick and I'm gonna get your question, all right? Which spiritually is called Sodom. Spiritually is called what? Sodom and Egypt. Because we are spiritually in Sodom and Egypt. If you look in the back of the Bible, what do you see? Pyramids all seeing out Egyptian shit, right? When we were slaves in Egypt. It says this is spiritually Sodom and Egypt. Homosexuality is being rampant out here. Slavery, we came over here on chains, we get shot down. This is a spiritual Egypt, not physical Egypt. Because we left there Egypt and came over here to another, to another slavery. You understand that? So, so, okay, what's your, so, what's your question? Okay, so, like, the way you're pointing out the white guy uh -huh. as the devil, you don't feel like you're basically doing with the same shit that you get us? Yeah, because we believe in karma. What goes around comes around, right? That's right. You believe in karma? 
So you, so that answers your question. We so believe in karma. Are you karma? Am I what? Okay. Are you karma? Am I karma? Right. No. Right. But the most I'm gonna use so us to render. Master, wait. Let me ask you a question. The most I'm gonna use us to render that judgment, render that karma, because God is a just God. He's gonna balance. That's right. right. He said you're gonna do unto them what they have done unto us. Right. He said render unto her double. That's what the Bible says. Because God is a man of war. That's right. He's not that lovey dovey come back. Everybody gonna hold hands. Peace, love, yeah. unity. It's not gonna happen. Go ahead. It's the book of Jeremiah, chapter 30, verse 16. Therefore, all they that devour thee shall be devoured. All they that do what? All they that devour thee shall be devoured. Go ahead. And all thine adversaries. All that what? All thine adversaries. What's the nation? Adversaries. Every one of them shall go into captivity. Shall do what? Shall go into captivity. Go ahead. And they that spoil oh, thee. Hold on, sister, did you hear that? But this answers your question. I'll take your time. This one, I know you got the young ones with you. You, you ready for that answer? Yeah, go ahead. I'll ride. Go ahead. I got you. Cool. Let me just make it quick for you. Go ahead. And uh, everyone that shall, uh, every one of them shall go into captivity, and they that spoil thee, therefore, all they that devour thee shall be devoured. And that kill us gonna be devoured, right? Go ahead. And all thine adversaries, all thy who? Adversaries. What's an adversary? Somebody that comes against you, right? Somebody who opposes you, right? That's your adversary. Go ahead. Every one of them. Who? Every, every one, one of them. them. Some of them might be. Every, every one, one of them. Only the good ones. Every one of them. Go ahead. Shall go into captivity. Shall go in? Into captivity. Go. Into captivity. Since they're going into captivity, they'll save the Lord. Right. Right? So when you say, oh, you know, what would they tell me to do? Tell them, damn right, we're going to do that same thing to them, right? Well, That's right. right. But now because we have no power, right? The cop, the police is against us. They got yeah. this set up. We, we can't do nothing, right? When the most side comes by that black beside and look like us, and got the same woolly hair like you do, he's going to come here to give us vengeance. Right. That's why he says he got red eyes. He's going to be damn angry because they afflicted the people of Israel, the God's chosen people. So when he come back, he's going to be angry. He's going to give us spirit to go kill these so-called white people and put everybody as a chain of captivity and put you on top, put you as a, as a, as a princess on earth. So when the other nations see you, they're going to bow down to you and kiss your feet. That's the okay. um, That's all in the Bible. You don't want your feet kissed? Of course, but uh, I, don't, <laughs> I don't, I just feel like we don't have to walk like and We have to. Hate them. Damn. Isaiah chapter 3 verse 11 in the GNT. But evil people, oh, evil people. It's the white man? Evil people. Chinese man? Evil people. When you go to the Chinese man's store, don't he hate you though? He be looking at you like you got still something? Um, of course. Yeah, I know all of them, not some guy. Are doomed. All the ones that be trying to be nice to the one that's that, that's selling the damn Chinese store that sell you chicken and fried rice all day. Yeah, they be nice, you know what I'm saying? Exactly, but they be nice to you. I live in the hood. They be nice. They be like, you know, thank you, come again. You want to keep buying from their little Chinese food. But when you go to the nail salon and you go to them hair salon, you better you, you, you better pay for that yaki. Go ahead. What they have done to others, what they have done to what? Done to others yeah. will now be done to them. We're gonna be doing it. We're gonna do that to them. The That's same way right. how they afflict us and how they hate you, sis. We're gonna hate them the same way because we love our sisters. You feel me? So I know you're right. We got one more. You're gonna let you go. I'm sorry, right? Go ahead. Deuteronomy chapter 30, verse 7. And the Lord thy God will put all these curses. We'll do what? Put all, all these, these curses huh? upon, upon thine enemies. enemies. Upon who? Upon, upon thine, thine enemies. enemies. Who's our enemies? Uh, upon thine enemies. The white man. Go ahead. And on them that hate thee. And of them that do what? On them that hate thee. So who hate us? Who hate us in this world? Who hate us? Bring it out. And who else? Because I don't want to make it just a white man campaign. China said, China, you want you to you, you whisper. You got to say it proud, sis. Bro, Your bro, answer was too bro. damn big for you to be out here. Come on, now you got to say a lot of proud. Just, I feel like I don't, I, I understand what you're saying. I agree, but I don't want to walk around like that. Right. All right, well, one day, the, turn, hopefully turn the most I go look at. Show with that slave sign right there. One day, one day the most I'm gonna put that spirit on you, hopefully low willing, you know what I'm saying? Look at this, sis. Was that not hate? It was hate, right? Obadiah 1 and 15. For the day of the Lord is near upon all heathen. All what? All heathen. That's your significant other? Yes. Okay, cool. As thou hast done. It shall be done unto thee. It shall be done unto who? Unto thee. Uh -huh. Thy reward shall return upon thine own head. See, they're gonna have the reward upon their own head. What did they tell us gonna do? They, they just fill up that cup. Whatever done to us is gonna be, we're gonna do it right back onto them. Now I get it, you don't feel like that, but when the most high come no, back, I agree. you will agree. What I'm saying is, like, I don't just want to point out all right. Yeah. Straight up. Like, yeah, well, that doesn't mean this fight, that that's, why, that's why this fight is for the men, not for the women. Say? 
Got a woman got that soft heart. They wanna, you know what I'm saying? They don't care. That's why they gotta be in the house. We gotta come out and fight that war, brother. That's that's your um. What's going on, King? We out here preaching the word of God, brother. You trying to wake up people up, man? I, mean, I know you got people. You about to get up out of here, right? So let me ask you a question real quick, man. You believe in the Bible? You believe in God? You spiritual? What kind of spirituality are, um, um, are you into? Yeah, let me get Psalms 83. We are gods. You're 100% right. Let me show you that. Now, what you just said, it's in the Bible, right? Check this out. You said we are gods, right? God. It's got a beautiful, beautiful family you got, brother, right? This is the book of Psalms, chapter 82, verse 6. I have said, ye are God. I have said what? Ye are God. What's your name? What's your name? Malik. Malik and um, Indy, right? Ye are God. Ye are God. Malik said he's a God, right? Go ahead. And all of you are the are children of the Most High. And we are what? Children of the Most High. So you might believe we are, we right. are gods on earth, right? But we are not the God, right? That's right. Because you didn't make the sun, moon, and the stars, and all the things that they're in, right? Talk about it. You don't got spiritual powers, do you? Oh, I'm about to say it right. So you are God, but we are not the God, right? So that's how you know that you are a chosen people, right? Because you have it in your spirit that you know that I'm, I'm, I'm a God, right? I'm a, I'm a king on earth. You a princess, all of that good stuff, right? But why are we at the bottom of society? Why, why are we at the bottom of the, of the, of the totem pole? Why, why are we not at the top, king? If you were king, why are you not at the top? I don't see a thong with which of that glorious apparel at. I see niggas out here in skinny, skinny jeans and Jordans all day. I don't see no 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 Drake King. I don't see no card on, on, on nobody's head. So in, in your spirit, yeah, you a king. She a princess, right? She got the fro. You know what I'm saying? I get it, but at the end of the day, the white man don't give a damn which choice of a king or a queen. He gonna, he, gonna, he gonna put you at the bottom of slavery, God. It's the book of Matthew, chapter 10, verse 16. Behold, I send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves. Send us what? And it sends you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves. Send us out here as sheep in the midst of wolves, right? And what, what wolves do the sheep? Tear them apart. So we in the midst of wolves, God. Huh? Be ye therefore wise as serpents. Be what? Be wise as serpents. Be what, Indy? Wise as serpents. Go ahead. And harmless as doves. Because Indy said she don't want to walk around here just hating everybody, right? Cool. But you got to be wise as something harmless as a dove. Right? You got to be wise. You got to know who the devil is. Know who your adversary are. That's right. I don't say call him a You went around and you want to kick the door for the white man, not hold the door for him. I ain't saying to do that. But you got to be wise and be harmless and be wise as a serpent, right? And that's what we are. I come back to the white man. He done got them devil all day. I don't give a damn. Right? Because like I said, the fight is for the men, not for the woman, right? right. Did you believe that, King? So do you see do you see yourself on this side? What's your father, King? What's your father? What's his nationality? Puerto Rican? Okay, we got your people up here, right? We got Puerto Ricans up here, right? You be from the tribe of Ephraim, right? One of the 12 tribes on your father's side, right? Right, and we got us up here from different tribes. So we all coming together, King. You gotta read that real quick. This mother got a for you real quick. I got something for you. This is Sirach chapter 32, verse 8. Let thy speech be short. Let thy what? Let thy speech be short. You see the white man, let the speech be short, right? See what you have to say, get it, keep it moving. Comprehending in much in few words. In what? In f comprehending much in few words. Don't just be mad all the time. Comprehending much in few words. Uh -huh. Be as one that knoweth. Be as one that what? Be as one that knoweth. We out here to let you know who you are. Wake you up so you know who you are. Go ahead. And yet, hold your tongue. And do what? Hold your tongue. So when you see the white man, you don't gotta say shit. I'm saying, if it, when I'm at work, yes, yes, sir. I doing? Good morning. Shake his hand. I clock in. When I leave the work, you the goddamn devil, man. Right. You know what I'm saying, right? These niggas are here. They ain't my boss. You get the point, though, right? So you gotta be smart and be wise. So we just wanna let you know that you are a child of God. You are a Hebrew Israelite. Have you heard about the Hebrew Israelites? You ever, know, you ever heard about the, the children of Israel, the, the Israelites? You heard about it. But that would so that would be you, King. You are a product of what the white man have done to your people. You're a product of the slave trade, right? Come brothers up. Columbus enslaved your people, right? Conquered, right? Take the floor. You got something? Isaiah chapter one verse three. The ox know of his owner. The who? The ox know of his owner. And the ass his master's crib. He says the ox knoweth his owner like a damn donkey. He know who his owner is, right? And the ass, the donkey, his master's crib. Go ahead. But Israel, but who? But Israel, but who? But Israel, uh -huh. does not know. It says Israel don't even know who they are. But a donkey and an ass know who his master is. But Israel, the people, don't know who they are. You don't know who your God is. You don't know where you come from. You say you come from Africa. I said, where? Like, I don't know. You just pick, pick one. It's, it's 54 countries in Africa. Which one do you come from? Everybody claims Egypt. Why? Because it's on TV. You see it on the movies. 
let's just, oh, let's just go to Egypt, right? But what about Sierra Leone? What about Nigeria? What about Gambia? What about the West Coast of Africa, the South Coast of Africa? You forget these places, everybody just claim Africa. That's how you know that you don't really know who you are, you're just claiming something, right? So we have to let you know what the Bible says, go ahead. My people do not consider. My people do what? Do not consider. They don't even care who they are. A sinful nation. What? A sinful nation. A sinful nation, go ahead. A people laden with iniquity. People that got just sin engulfed in sin, go ahead. A seed of evildoers. A seed of who? Evildoers. Our people are evildoers, right? You look on the TV today, this is again her, her, her damn hair pulled down, but again shot in the Bronx, getting clapped, gunned down. We evil to ourselves, right? Go ahead. Children that are. Co that are corruptors. They are what? Corruptors. Uh -huh. They have forsaken the Lord. They have forsaken who? The Lord. They have forsaken the Lord. Because you can't call yourself a God and the King, but don't know that you have a higher power. You have a God. Right? And you too, sis, right? Let me get that in Hosea real quick. I got some more family. You only gotta go. Let me get a look at this 11. The book of Hosea, chapter 4, verse 6. My people are destroyed. My people are what? My, my people are destroyed. My people. It says possessive. It says my people. Not everybody, right? This, this is not a, a multi-ethnic church. It says my people. Go ahead. Are those your kids? That's not these. That's not those. That's your, that, that, so that's your kid, right? Go ahead. That's possessive. Right? That's your child. That's not my child. Go ahead. It says my people. Go ahead. Are destroyed. For what? Are, are destroyed, destroyed for a lack of knowledge. For a lack of what? Yeah, for a lack of knowledge. A lack of what? Lack of knowledge. Oh, lack of knowledge, go ahead. Because thou hast rejected knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge. Because you reject the knowledge, right? Go ahead. I will also reject thee. You gonna do what? I will also reject, reject thee. thee. That's when hard times hit because the most I got reject our people because you rejected him. You don't want to get into this book and know who your God is. You want to look at the white man and say, oh, he probably God or Jesus is white. We just showed that Jesus was a black man. According to the Bible. See, he knew that. You should teach her that and teach your kids that too. I know TV going to try to engulf him with this damn doctrine that Jesus is white. White is beautiful. White is pure. Black is dingy, right? Hey, right. But black is actually, but we are the actual purest people in the Bible. Watch this. Go ahead. Deuteronomy chapter 4 verse 4. It says we destroy for lack of knowledge, right? Check this out. But ye that cleave unto the Lord your God uh -huh. are alive every one of you this day. I can't. Keep the four and do them. For this is your wisdom. This is what? Your wisdom. It says keep therefore and do them. The commandments. You know about the, the commandments of God? It says keep therefore and do them. That's an action right. word. Go ahead. And your understanding in the sight of the nations. So this, the laws, is going to be your understanding and your wisdom in the sight of the nations. Because remember, I told you, it's not all about everybody, it's just about us. So we're going to be looking like, especially we're in the sight of the nations. Go ahead. Which shall hear all these statutes and say, surely this great nation is a wise and understanding people. When you do what God says, keep it going. People are going to say, damn, this, this, this is a wise and understanding nation. These people are, are powerful. Do they, do, um, do they say that today? I think these niggas out here, man, they ain't powerful. They ain't wise. Right? I could do what I wanted them. I could tax them, charge them money, up, you know, you know, up the rent what I want to, down the rent, I could do whatever I want to do. You're not a wise and understanding people. Anybody look to us, they look to the Chinese man because he's so smart. So you got extra little brain cells going on. You know, you know when you're retarded, you got extra something right? So you could probably do like a little bit of a, a Rubik's Cube, mad quick. As a Chinese man, you, you think you're smart, right? And the white man, you know, you might think that he, he, he on top, guy. For what nation is there so great? What nation is there so great once we keep his commandments, guy? Who have God so nigh unto them? God so what? Nigh unto them. So when we have God close to us, they, the other nations gonna be like, damn, these people are wise and the people. That they, they, they have God so close to them. God is not the God of everybody. So he's, he's only the God of the Israelites. That's the 12, right. Twelve tribes, guy. As the Lord our God is in all things mm -hmm. that we call upon him for. Mm -hmm. And what nation is there so great that have statutes and judgments? What nation that have what? Statutes and judgments. Because we have laws to follow, right? Now you familiar with God's laws? Are you familiar with God's laws? What kind of laws do you know? As far as what? You tell me, you said you know the laws, so. As far as the commandments. Yeah, the commandments, yeah, exactly, huh? So on and so forth. Yeah, those are the 10 commandments, right? Cool. But I can guarantee, I don't want to be precision, but that, can you name the, the Ten Commandments? No. Right. See the problem there, right? So even though we lean to that, we don't even know the Ten. But we say, yes, yeah, Ten Commandments, but it's actually it's just the Thirteen Commandments. Right. I'm going to give you some commandments to roll with and think about this, okay? Uh, this is Sirach chapter 1, verse 14. And, and numbers to fear the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. The what? To fear the Lord. Oh, God, that's the beginning of your wisdom, right, God? Not fearing the white man. You can't, he can't, he can't do nothing to us, right? Mm. And it was created with the faithful in the womb. Uh -huh. uh, one more real quick. Um, 
appreciate you listening, King. I appreciate you for listening, right? That's what we are here for because if people over there earlier they wanted to fight us all day. They want to fight us, these little pan African, they want to fight. And then because they don't believe it about it, right? They believe in, you know, Africanism. They don't want to hear this, they want to hear like Martin Luther King type shit, right? We are here reading the Bible. So you're the only two that actually came diligently and listen and understand and hear first before you open your mouth. Listen, Dad. Uh, this is again, Sirach chapter 1, verse uh, 11. The fear of the Lord is honor and glory and gladness and a crown of rejoicing. See that? So if you want that crown, king? You want to put that crown? You got to fear the Lord. Right. Right? You can't put the king on that. You the only king out here. I want to be a king too, nigga. What's up? Right? You can't be the only king out here. So you got to pussy. You got to go come. You got to come back to these laws, king. Let me give you some laws. Aside from the Ten Commandments, right? Because can you be homosexual according to the Bible? A homosexual? No, right? But that's under the Ten Commandments. So can I do that? You cannot be a homosexual according to the Bible, right? But that's not in the Ten Commandments, though. That's right. So that's showing you that it's more than Ten Commandments, right? Let me get that. Let me get one commandment for you, right? Leviticus chapter 11, verse 7. And the swine. And the what? The swine. You guys eat swine? Pork, bacon? Nobody. I'm trying to lean off. You? you don't eat it at all. Do you eat it? A little bit? So that's your woman king, right? You gotta get in orders. You can't be. I'm gonna show you that, right? According to God. Go ahead. Though he the father hoof and be cloven footed, yet he chooseth not to cut. He is unclean to you. He is what? He is unclean to you. What is the pig? Unclean to you. Go ahead. Of their flesh. Of their what? Of their flesh. Of their what? Of their flesh. Pork chops. Of their flesh. Bacon. Of their flesh. Pork and grinds. Of their flesh. Shall ye not eat? Shall you not do what? Shall ye not eat? Shall you not do what? Shall ye not eat? And their carcass. And their what? Their carcass. Shall ye not touch? So you can't even eat the pig or touch the carcass. No bacon. No pork. No pork and grinds. And even they got certain products that have pork in it. You gotta be mindful, King, right? And that's a commandment from the Lord. So if you want to come back to your God, you got to keep that commandment, right? That's only one out of many. Let me give you another one. So from this day forward, King, don't go say, I believe in God, and you should believe in God, but you're eating pork. You're breaking that commandment, and God not dealing with you. Go ahead. No, go ahead. Yeah, give it the All right, I can't. What about shellfish? Do you guys eat shellfish? Shrimp, crab, lobster, mussels, clam. What about you, sis? You should be scared. <laughs> okay, so y'all eat that, right? It's okay. It's cool. Not cool, but we once was in that world. But when we heard this, we, we, came, we came out of that. That's right. Because we said, damn, we, we fear the most our God. You're going to kill me if I eat that damn pork. That's right. I used to eat bacon, I used to eat bacon all day. <laughs> right, that's how you know, I not, not eat turkey bacon. Something else. I substitute for something else, right? Because I had to keep it lawful according to God. Go ahead. Leviticus chapter 11, verse 9. Uh huh. These shall you eat of all that are in the water. It says, This you shall eat that's in the waters, right? Go ahead. Whatsoever have fins and scales. Whatever have fins and scales. Let me ask you a question. What doesn't have fins and scales? Say what? Say what? what does not have fins and scales? Hold on, read it again. Clearly. These shall ye eat of all that are in the waters. Uh -huh. Whatsoever have fins and scales uh -huh. in the waters, in the seas, and in the rivers, them shall ye eat. You can eat that, right? They have fins and scales, right? Go ahead. Right. And all that have not. All that what? Have not. If it does not have fins and scales, go ahead. Fins nor scales in the seas and in the rivers of all that move in the waters and of any living thing mm -hmm. which is in the waters, mm -hmm. they shall be an abomination. They shall be what? An abomination. Is abomination a good thing? It's a bad thing. So what does not have fins and scales in the water? Everything just as far as like No, I want you to name it. I want you to, I want, I want to get it out of you. Shellfish. Um, That's a lot of stuff. A lot of, a lot of shit. Shark, dolphin, what? whale. Crab, lobster, mussels, clams. fish. Not really. Well, yeah, fish, but they gotta have fins and scales on it. They gotta have the bow, because catfish don't have fins and scales. Right. That's catfish right. just have fins, they don't have no scales. Yeah. Electric eels. I'll take a weird shit. I don't even eat that anyway, because I'm black. We don't even eat that shit anyway. <laughs> I'm gonna try that tomato from the Caribbean. I don't even eat that shit no way. So, <laughs> right? So, my point is that the Bible just says if it doesn't have scales and fins, you cannot eat it. That's right. right. If, and it says the swine, the pork, you cannot eat that. Let me get Isaiah 56, 65, and you got that already. Let me get first Maccabees. Isaiah chapter 65, verse 15, in the MOT. See, the Lord is coming with fire. The Lord is coming with what? With fire. What? With fire. God coming with what? With fire. You know, with love and peace. With fire. You know, with hugs. With fire. Coming with fire, go ahead. And his swift chariots. And what? With his swift chariots. His swift chariots. What's that? His chariot, right? UFOs. Unidentified right. flying objects, but, but, but we call them IFOs. Identified flying objects because we know what it is. That's right. Uh -huh. 
like a whirlwind. Like a what? Like a whirlwind. Go ahead. He will bring punishment. He will bring what? Punishment. Go ahead. With the fury of his anger. Right. Who? Uh, with the fury of his anger. He's coming back angry, King. He's coming back mad, right? And the flaming fire of his hot rebuke. Uh -huh. The Lord will punish the world by fire and by his sword. He'll punish the world with who? By fire and by his sword. Okay. He will judge the earth and many will be killed uh -huh. by him. Uh -huh. Those who consecrate and purify themselves in a sacred garden with his idol in the center, feasting on pork. Feasting on what? Pork. What they was eating? Pork. Read it again from the top. Just clean up the way for a second. Go ahead. Those who consecrate and purify themselves in a sacred garden with its idol in the center, feasting on pork. Uh huh. And the and rats. And what? And rats. What the Chinese people eat? And rats. What are they trying to give to us? And rats. Go ahead. And other. And what? And other. Uh -huh. Detestable meats. And other. And you see the Chinese man be on TV eating all type of shit, right? On YouTube, right? right. It says anybody caught eating swine mukbang. Caught eating swine or any kind of abomination that we dread in the look at the book of Leviticus, the laws, he putting you to death. That's right. You're not coming out here to give you no smooth words, say that God loves everybody. He's gonna no, that's not what the Bible says. If it said that, I would I would have read it to you. But it doesn't say that. The church have lied. The church said, yeah, John 3, 16, God still loved the world, he gives a big guy's son, he closed the Bible, and then he danced around the stage. Come back, he danced, throw money around, you know what I'm saying? The Bible said you can't you, you, you get caught eating swine, your ass is grass. And any unclean meat in the ocean. So what we all did up here, I don't eat shrimp, crab, lobster, mussels, clam. I eat chicken all day, chicken, little oxtail, rice and peas, you know what I mean? Right. You know what I mean? Keep it Caribbean, you know what I mean? You Puerto, you, you, you Puerto Rican. Right? So don't eat that pork though, right? But keep it keep it lawful according to the laws of God. Now watch this. Get out. Uh, first Maccabees 6 and 18. Let me get 7 and 1, First Maccabees. If you gotta go to say the word king, you know what I'm saying? I ain't holding you. Let me get the numbers, let me get the numbers right out there, right? The book of First Maccabees chapter 6, verse 18. About this time that they were in the tower, shut up the Israelites round about the sanctuary and saw always their hurt and the strength of the Judas. My fault, my fault, my fault, my fault. It's not good. I ain't saying nothing. I ain't saying nothing. I don't want to listen to this nigga. Second Maccabees 6 and 18. Second Maccabees 6 and 18. Eliezer. One of the principal scribes, an aged man, a what? an aged man, they had an older man named Eliezer, right? An older guy. And of all, and of a well-favored continent, was constrained to open his mouth. He was what? Constrained to open his mouth. Held him down, open his mouth, go ahead. And to eat swine's flesh. To eat what? To eat swine's flesh. So they held him down and forcing the nigga to eat swine's flesh. Go ahead. Because they knew that he was a Jew and he's not supposed to eat that. Go ahead. But he. Choosing rather to die. Choosing rather to do what? To die. die. Is it what to do? To, to die. die. Gloriously. What? Gloriously. So if you die, not breaking God's laws, you're, 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 you're dying gloriously. Go ahead. Then to live stained with such an abomination. So what? Such an abomination. So he rather to die than to live in an abomination. We just read it in the book of Leviticus about the swamp being an abomination. Right. He didn't want to do that. So I'm just hopping in the point about not eating that unclean meat, right? Because you said you eat that, don't give it to your children because you're already putting them in sin. You're, you're being, you're helping them going off on God's laws. So when your kid grow up and then she can't, she can't catch hell all the way through, it's because her father failed her. her. Her mother failed her. She gave a swine, she gave a pork, bacon, um, shellfish, lobster, do what, you know, to, to eat whatever you want. But, but secretly, I know it's spiritually, you said you, you were spiritual, right? You're breaking God's laws. On the outside, yeah, I get it. But the white man don't care. He put it on the TV, he put a little butter on it, a little, a little lemon, he threw a little lemon in the air, a, 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 a little um, um, pepper, you know what I'm saying? A, a little, um, you know, black pepper, a little salt. It looks good, don't it? But it's unclean. Don't watch YouTube with that girl beloved, eating seafood mukbang. I know you know beloved, right? Don't watch that, because she's wicked as hell. Go ahead. It's the book of Leviticus, chapter 19, verse 17. Thou shalt not hate thine brother. Don't do what? Shalt not hate thine brother. Don't hate your brother. Us, the 12 tribes, not the white man. He's not your brother, is he? Is the Chinese man your brother? The Japanese man? The Arab man? The East Indian man? Who, who, who's your brother? Okay, cool. In thine heart. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor. We got to rebuke. Rebuke means to show you, sharper you, show you, get you to understand it. Rebuke thy neighbor, God. And not suffer sin upon him. And not suffer what? Sin upon so him. We do. We not suffer sin upon you. So we have to let you know God's law. So we don't want you to go off and go home and then you start stuffing your face with pork and bacon and then, you, and then your family get destroyed, right? God. 
Um, Thou shalt not avenge nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people. So don't hate the children of your people. You see how the Bible just keeps being possessive? Your, my, our. It's not for everybody. So when I said, why may he the devil? God, because he's not my people. I didn't, I, I didn't write the Bible, God. But thou shalt love thy neighbor. Love who? Love thy, thy neighbor. neighbor. What they gotta do? Love thy neighbor. Go ahead. As, as thyself. As who? As, as thyself. thyself. So you can't just love yourself. You gotta love us as you love yourself as well. All of our brothers up here, we was never friends at one point. We didn't know each other, but we all came together under one banner, under one umbrella, and, and now we brothers. Right? Right. Now we out here in unity, right? We text, we call, we chop it up, we go out, we hang out, we do things, right? The people that's in the world, my all homies in the world, I left them where they at. These niggas don't want to hear this. They want to keep going to the club and keep, you know, you know, you know how we are, okay? They want to keep doing that thing, but it's like, I'm th it's tough. come on, so I'm too old for that shit, man. I'm, I'm getting gray. Come on, bro. Yo, it's, 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 it's a time to wake up, King, right? Go ahead, let me get, let me get one law for you. Why you see we got the princes on, right? It's another law. The book of Numbers, chapter 15, verse 38. Speak unto the children of Israel. Speak to who? The children of Israel. Speak to who? The children of Israel. It says, speak to the Israel, not everybody. Go ahead. And bid them. And do what? Bid them. them. Please command them, go ahead. That they make their fringes. And they make what? Fringes. fringes. What? Fringes. All we got? Fringes. What King needs? Fringes. What she needs? Fringes. Go ahead. In the borders of their gardens. Uh -huh. Throughout their generation, forever. And that they put upon the fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue. A what? A ribbon of blue. What he got? A ribbon of blue. What's, what he got? A ribbon of blue. Uh, what the sisters over here got too? Yeah. A ribbon of blue. Yeah. Con. Uh, and and it shall be upon to you for a fringe. That you may look upon it. You may look upon it. And remember and all. The what? Remember. And the what? Remember. And the what? Remember. remember. So when you about to go in that store, the little Puerto Rican store, and buy that little pork, you're like, oh shit, fringes. I can't do that. I remember. Right. But I'm just generalizing the statement, right? I get you. My fault. But you're right, though. But people that do, I don't want to, you know what I'm saying? People that do eat pork, go ahead. And remember all the commandments. And let's say the shellfish, right? You do eat that. With the shrimp, right? The shellfish. Right? Remember all the commandments. Remember all the commandments. Of the Lord. Of who? Of the Lord. Uh -huh. And do them. And do what? And do them. So that's why we got fringes up here, King. Everybody got fringes, so that's a commandment. That isn't in the yeah. Ten Commandments. Where that's in the Ten Commandments? You read that before? Yeah, it's not in the Ten Commandments. Did the church ever read that to you before? Yeah, because the pastor's a goddamn liar. That's right. He don't tell you what the Bible says. He tells you what he want to tell you. That's right. He tell you to sit in the front pew so you can look up the, your, your girl's skirt, got cleavage out. He passed a collection plate around, throw your money in there. He hopped in his Lamborghini, drive off. You had to hop on the train. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Ye shall keep, uh, Stalakia, Leviticus 19 and 19. Ye shall keep my statutes. You shall do what? Ye shall, shall keep, keep my, my statutes. statutes. Uh -huh. Thou shalt not let thy cattle gender with a diverse kind. Uh -huh. Thou shalt not sow thy field with mingled seed. You can't sow your seed with mingled seed, go ahead. Neither uh -huh. shall a garment mingled of linen and woolen come upon thee. So when you got your garment or your clothes, it can't be two-tone fabric. It gotta be either one fabric. You can't be have a shirt that has polyester, 50% and half, and half cotton. You off, according to the laws of God. Come on, it says we are separate. We holy people, we separate. We can't be like the other nations, right? We have laws to follow. So when we have on our garment, it gotta be 100% cotton, 100% polyester, or 100% whatever. But it can't be interwoven together. That's off. So we up here, we got 100% clothing on. So we gotta come, learn, study, get into these commandments, bro. We got mad, eat for my brothers like you, and not care. It ain't just us. We out here deep, nationwide, all, all 50 states in the earth. Even, even in Africa, we got Israelites all over. People waking up to this truth, bro. Now, let me show you about this bed real quick, because you cut your bed a little bit, right? Watch this. Leviticus chapter 19, verse 27. The book of what? Leviticus chapter... See, that book of Leviticus is, the, is where some of the laws are found. The book of Leviticus, right? Go ahead. Chapter 19, verse 27. You shall not round the corners of your head. You shall not do what? Round the corners of your head. Don't be going into the little Dominican barbershop, getting that line up. Then they be taping you up and all that shit. They spray with, spray with the alcohol. It should start burning. Don't do that, go ahead. Neither shall thou mar the corners of thy beard. Mar means to destroy. It says, neither shall thou mar the corners of thy beard. Go ahead. Con. You shall not make any cuttings in your flesh. You okay, know what? Cut, um, cuttings in your flesh for the dead. For the dead, so don't cut yourself for the dead, right? You got tattoos, we got tattoos too. I got you. Nor print any marks upon you. Don't do what? Print any marks upon you. Don't print no marks upon you, right? Because like I said, you're separate, you're holy. To be Deuteronomy 7 once again, because I don't think he heard Deuteronomy 7. You're holy, right? We all got tats, but when we heard this, we came out of that. We stopped doing that no more. So we're not going to go to the tattoo spot, get marks on, right? We got our fringes on, we got our bands on our face. So you got, I can see you, you, you can go on bed, we see it. I, 
Right, I got you. I see you got your bed. You, 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 um, you can grow one. So you gotta grow it out a little bit fuller, right? Keep it nice and full. Because I know women like beds, you know what I'm saying? You if somebody don't have a finished tattoo, like, I know people that have unfinished tattoos, and they say, but I wanna go finish this tattoo. Nah, just leave it leave it incomplete. Yeah, don't worry about yeah. it. Even if you got an unfinished tattoo, just let it, let it, let it. I got unfinished tattoos all on my back. But lay, I ain't gonna color it in. It's over at this point because I came into this truth, gave this knowledge. It's over. I'm gonna try to leave it as it is, right? So it says you gotta get your, so you got so you got love, but you gotta unclean meat, swine. You can't eat no shellfish. You have to have a beard on your face, right? You like a beard, sis? A nice full beard? See that king should like that, bro. You cut it so it grow out. You gotta, you Duh. All right, king. All right. I see you. Cause a lot of people coming. They got the naked face, right? So you know, go your beard out, right? Become that man that what the Bible says you should be. Go ahead. Uh, this, this is Leviticus chapter 19 verse 29 Do not prostitute thy daughter To cause her to be a whore Don't prostitute your daughter to do what? To cause her to be a whore Lest the land fall to whoredom And the land become full of wickedness What do you think that mean king? Don't prostitute your daughter to be a whore You know the bible says that right? Bible got a lot of foul language in there Go ahead. It's saying like you have your little daughter, right? She grows up, she hit 12, 13, 14 years old, right? Mommy, I want my first little boyfriend, a little boy at school, he's cute, da 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 da, right? Cool. Last thing you know, she lay down with him, right? She 18, she could do it, right? She lay down with him. Then she come and say, oh, we broke up after six months, we broke up. She's crying on mommy's shoulder, she broke up. Then mommy, then mommy would say, oh, well, it's okay, baby, you get to the you know what I mean? You can find somebody else that love you for you. Then she go lay down with the next man. That's the second man she has, so now, now she's a whore. Now she got two men that entered into her. You have to raise her up as a righteous sister, like this is over here, in the laws of God. And she know who she got to look for. Now look for these niggas out here on this corner, or the nigga that's in her school. So you have to, that's how, you, that's how I said, don't pass your daughter to be a whore. Because a lot of the women will tell their daughters, okay, don't worry, baby, don't worry about this, um, babe. You can find a, a, another man. And after him, you can get another man. By the time she get, actually get married, she done, had, she done had eight boyfriends already. She's a whore. But when she come back to these laws, she gonna become a new creature. You understand me? So that's why it says don't do that, right? Raise her up in the laws of God. Raise her up and to build in this foundation. Even that's why you guys gotta get in order as far as keeping these commandments. And not walk around saying, I don't know who my God is, I don't know where I'm from. I don't you're just oblivious. I can see in your spirit, you got that Afrocentric kind of look, you know what I'm saying? I can see you are strong eat for my brother. They gotta come back to these laws, bro. Right? So you can raise up your kids in, 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 in the laws of God. Go ahead, you got something? It's at Rack chapter 30 verse 11. It says, um, give him no liber liberty in his youth. Do what? Give him no liberty in his youth. Don't give, what's your, what's your daughter's name? Divine. Divine? Divine. Divine. Give, give, bad here, awesome. give, no, give him no liberty in his youth. It says him or her, give her no liberty in her youth. Don't give her the free will to do whatever she want to do. Oh, she's, yeah, do whatever you want to do. You want to go to the party at 8 o'clock and, 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 and um, 2 in the morning? Go ahead. When she come back, she'll be pregnant by the time she is 17. Go ahead. <laughs> and weak not at his folly. And do what? Weak not at his follies. This is, this is, and weak not at his follies. All her. Meaning that when you have, like a lot of women have a son, right? And then he come out the room with high heels on and lipstick on. You laugh, ah, my son's so crazy. You laugh at it. Go take that off. Not knowing that he about to be homosexual in the future. Right. But you over here laughing, thinking that this shit is cute. It says, wink, wink, not at his follies, go ahead. Bow down his neck while he is young. Do what? Bow down his neck while he is young. Bow down her neck, divine. And beat him. And do what? Beat him. Do what? Beat him. You gotta beat your kids, man. Cause they don't wanna hear. You, 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 you believe in discipline? How old are you? 29. 29. You born around the late 80s, right? 85, something like that? Your mom. I, I, I'm, I'm bad with math, whatever, you get the point, right? <laughs> Your mama used to beat you, right? When you were growing up in Puerto Rico. I'm Trinidad. Not from Puerto Rico. My mom's black, my father. But even if your mama's, they from there, you're not from there, you still get your ass up in America too. Because your household have that same morals of disciplining your kids. I'm Trinidadian. I got my ass beat in Trinidad and in America. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And then when you see kids today, they don't get their ass beat. The Bible says, <laughs> read, read that part again. Bow down his neck while he is young. And beat him on the side uh -huh. while he is a child. While she is a child. Him and her. And the Bible deals with somebody about, about masculine, but it goes both ways. Him and her. So you gotta raise the child up. When she do bullshit, discipline her, beat her so she won't come out here and make you ass uh, 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 look like a fool. So you know you see some kids, you're like, damn, who the hell is your mama? He fa she, she failed you. Or your daddy failed. You don't wanna be that way, King, right? So, right, it talks about that too. I, I can read it for you. Unless he waxed double, um, um, stubborn 
and be disobedient to thee, and so bring sorrow to thy heart. Again, slowly. Con. Lest he wax stubborn and be disobedient unto thee. Be disobedient unto who? Unto thee. To them. And so bring sorrow to thy heart. And they gonna bring sorrow to your heart. Can you, your son of your daughter go out here embarrassing you, bro? Right. She in every nigga face. She don't know how to act. What you did when you was raising her? You was you didn't raise in the laws of God. Uh, That's why I was out here today. A whole out. They all messed up in the head. They all ratchet. Like what Monique said. The, the um, bonnet crew got the bonnet on, eyelashes up here. They got the little. But that slippers where they wear the little furry thing on there. That shit retarded. <laughs> With the spandex. That ain't a good look. That mean, that's only a good look for a, 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 a wicked nigga. But, 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 but we be a righteous men up here, you know what I'm saying? This is the book. King? So that's the look that we going for, man. Righteous men and righteous women. This is the sisters. I'm sorry. You see the sisters over there sitting there? They righteous. They got their fringes on, they got their long dresses, they got their head wrap. They out here hearing this word. They're not out here, you know. Talking about Pan Africanism, I'm African, I'm all this and I'm down the third eating damn hot dog. You was, was a slave in the, 18, in the 1800s. You wasn't free. Go ahead. Right. This is uh, Colossians chapter 3, start at 5. Mm -hmm. Mortify therefore your members. What? Mortify therefore your members. It says mortify therefore your members. You cut it off, right? Which are upon the earth. Fornication, uncleanliness, oh. uh, un uh, inordinate affection, evil, uh, Concipious, cons uh, excuse me, and covetedness, which is idolatry, for which, for which things sake the wrath of God cometh on the children of disobedience. See, the wrath comes the children of disobedience. So God is punishing our people on the whole because we disobedient to God. You look on the news, we them last high at first five, we get shot down completely in the street. Nobody fight for us. Nobody come out here arguing for us. Why these niggas don't go over here and march uh, in front of the white man's um, police office? Right. Why they come out here in the basketball court selling glizzies and hot dogs and eating burgers and dancing and chucking and jiving for who? There's no time for love. We out here, out here at war. The white man is killing us. Right. And you got white people walking up and down in the midst of them, eating, chilling with them. Go ahead. Um, in which ye also walked some time when ye lived in them. But now ye are also put off of all the all these anger, wrath, malice, blasphemy, filthy communication out your mouth. Lie not one to another, seeing that ye have put off the old man with his deeds. What? Put off what? Put off the old man with his deeds. What does brother gotta do? Put off the old man with it, it, his deeds. You gotta put off the old man. Put off that nigga that you used to be. I'm sorry to call you a nigga, but you get what I'm saying. I'm from the hood, bro, so we're gonna say it as it is. Put off that old man, King. Put off the, you know, your wickedness, put off that old stuff you used to do. Come into the light, come into the righteousness, right? Come because you wanna get the kingdom of heaven, right? You wanna go into the kingdom of heaven? Do you wanna go into the kingdom of heaven? You wanna get to the kingdom, right? Because you said you said you was king, but you can't lead me to the kingdom. You know what I'm saying? If you out here studying wickedness, you gotta come in here, bro. Gotta come in here, build with your brothers, chop it up, get this doctor this knowledge. We're the only one in the world that's that's doing this. We're the only movement in the world that's that's doing this. We are the two the um God's chosen people, the, the 12 tribes of Israel, the 12 lost tribes, but we are found. We know who we are. Right? We're not out here lost in the source, calling myself black. I'm Puerto Rican. What does Puerto Rico mean? Rich port, right? Rich. Right, but you know, but you're holding on to that claim though. So I'm just here to show you that Puerto Rico means port of riches, right? You're a rich port. That's, you're, you're not a rich port. Columbus named that when he came over there and saw you guys over there playing with gold and diamonds like it was marbles. He said, damn, this is a rich port. Y'all all Puerto Ricans. But they had to be that was already there, which were the Taino, the indigenous people that was there first. And they wasn't calling us Puerto Ricans, right? So you say I'm Puerto Rican, that's a byword, that's what the white man called you. And that's you keep right. that name and you uphold the name being I'm Puerto Rican, you gotta, you gotta put that off. That's right. You gotta be like, I'm nigga, I'm an I'm Ephraim from the, from the tribe of Ephraim, from the 12 tribes of Israel. That's right. That's God's chosen people. That's right. There's power behind that. Go ahead. Acts 319 in the AMP. So repent, change your inner soul, inner soul huh? your old way of thinking. Your old what? Your old way of thinking. Yeah, I changed our old way of thinking. Cause we always to think evil. We used to think that yeah, we're gonna go to the club tomorrow, we're gonna plan, we're gonna do, we're gonna plan all kinds of evil stuff, right? It says put away that evil thought, go ahead. Uh, regret past sins uh -huh. and return to God. Return to who? Return to God. What they gotta do? Return to God. This is the gotta do? Return to God. Since you believe in God up here? Yes. You do? Oh, okay. <laughs> Seek his purpose. Seek who? His purpose. Seek God's purpose, go ahead. For your life. For who? For your life. Go ahead. So that your sins may be wiped away, blotted out, completely erased, so that times of refreshing may come from the presence of the Lord, restoring you like a cool wind on a hot day. See that? 
So we are, so you gotta come back to these laws, King, and your woman get them in order, get everybody in order, man, because we leading a revolution up here. That's right? right? We're trying to get up out of this captivity. America is not our homeland. Neither is Puerto Rico. Neither is, is Egypt. We're from North, yeah, let me get that. I mean, this is not our homeland. We were brought here as slaves, and we're still here. Some people say, yo, I'm free, I'm free, I'm free off the chain through Juneteenth. How are you free? How are you free? When you go take a trip, you've been to Puerto Rico ever? Okay, when you take any trip, you have to pay to go there, right? Is it free? So you're a slave, you're stuck here. Until you have to pay that Delta or Airlines or, 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 um, or, or, or Jamaica Airlines and then you guys get to travel. Go ahead. They got the vaccine COVID. If you ain't shot COVID up, nigga, you can't go nowhere. You're a slave. So when people say I'm free, they don't know what free is. Right? Because a lot of people are so used to being slaves, they don't know what free is. Right? That's Stockholm Syndrome. You know what I'm saying? You keep a people locked down for so long, you just give them a bone here and there. They're going to say, well, oh, this nigga, he's, he's pretty all right. He got me in captivity, but you know, he, he's cool. Not all white people are bad, but they all the goddamn devil. They got you in slavery. Go ahead. Uh, Sirach, chapter 21, verse 1. My son, hast thou sinned? Do so no more. Do what? Do, do so, so no more. more. What do you got to do? Do, do so, so no more. more. Uh -huh. But ask pardon for thy former sins. So you got to talk to the most high, ask pardon for your former sins, right? It says sin no more. You know, do you know what sin is? According to the Bible, what is sin? What is that? Yeah, what is sin? Say that again? Anything that's of the world? Anything that's of the world? You know, you're close, but you know. We're going to give you the biblical definition of what sin is. People say, oh, you committed a sin. You do you know what you ever know what sin is? Let me get that. There's a book of First John chapter three verse four. Yeah. Whosoever committed sin, whosoever do what? Committed sin. Go ahead. Transgresseth also the law. Go ahead. For sin is the transgression of the law. So what is sin? Action. What is sin? I I I I I need the man to hear this. What is sin, King? All right. First John chapter three verse four. Whosoever committed sin, transgresseth also the law. For sin is the transgression of the law. What is sin? Transgression of the law. What is sin? Transgression of the law. What is sin? Transgression. Right. So when you in sin, you're breaking God's laws. Right. Huh? We just read the laws to you. A couple of them. There's more. Let's, let's read a couple of the main ones. Your bed, the unclean meat, the fish of the swine. You gotta get your fringes on. Since you gotta have you know longer dress down to your knees. You know what I'm saying? You don't want the wimp. You know what I'm saying? All that stuff plays a part, you know what I'm saying? So that's what sin is, when we break God's laws. Right. So we don't want you to break God's laws anymore, so we come out and let people know to repent, because the kingdom of heaven is soon here. Right. And we don't want you to get left behind. Let me right. get Zechariah 13 and 8 real quick, because people are going to die out here when God comes back. Not everybody going to make it. I'm going to show you that. Show me number guys. I know I'm going to win the I'm going to keep going. This is the book of Zechariah, chapter 13, verse 8. Con. And it shall come to pass that in all the land, saith the Lord, two parts therein shall be cut off and die. How much gonna die? Two thirds shall be cut off. So like two thirds, two parts therein shall be cut off and die. Okay. But the third shall be left therein. So right. only one third of our people gonna make it to the kingdom of heaven. Two thirds gonna die. That's what the Bible says. Because people are, two thirds, two -thirds they, 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 they not gonna wanna hear this. They gotta keep walking past, scoffing, getting mad. And, and, and you know, being, and being upset, but only a few gonna be listen, stop, understand. Damn, when I go home, you know what? This pork, garbage. You know what? Your brother said me about them damn fringes. Let me get them fringes on because you want to lead your, your family into the kingdom of heaven, right? Right? I got you. You want to lead your family into the kingdom, right? So you gotta lead them, king. You can't forsake them, right? You can't lead them into into into. I don't want to say hell because hell is not a literal place. It's a condition, right? So we want you to lead your family into the. I want to see you in the kingdom of heaven, and you too, sis. That's so that's why we are here, man. So, so, how you, so, so how you feel about what you heard so far? You respect it. You understand it. You get it. So you gonna still you gonna you gonna still eat that shrimp? I don't eat it all the time. Now you gotta stop completely, King. Let me get that. The um, Ecclesiastes verse. Uh, uh, I got you. I got you. Yeah, Psalms chapter one nineteen verse sixty. It says, "I made haste and delayed not to keep thy commandments." You heard that, King? You got some? It says, I made haste, right? And delayed not to keep thy commandments. It says, I made haste. I hurried up and made haste to not to do what? So, like, you made haste to do what? To keep thy commandments. So, he made haste to keep the commandments. Now, you hear this. Now, the, the clock has started. But you never heard this before. That's how the Bible works. Now, you heard this. Now, God is like, hit that timer. Now, it's on. Now, now it's game time. Let me see if King really believe in me. Because you never heard this before, so you couldn't hold it against you. 
But now you heard this, and now you heard this, and now the, the, the clock is starting. This is what you're gonna do. It's like you eat that shrimp, God gonna just be like, this nigga here, don't fuck, you don't, you don't, you don't listen. We, the brothers, God put you here to come up here. She was waiting for her rush. I, th I thought she was calling a damn Uber, honestly. But she brought you up here to listen, bro. All the, it's, it's, it's all the most size work. He brought you here so you can hear this. Because everybody at one time in life gonna, gonna hear this knowledge. And they're gonna reject it. And then some gonna hear it and be like, what? But I heard this for, I was like, what? Jesus is black. I've been lied to all my life. And I just hopped up, boom, bam. Here I am out here. You know what I'm saying? So some people gonna hear it and be like, well, yeah, I can't resist that damn shrimp with that damn butter. And that damn, um, <laughs> and that damn Goya bean on the Puerto Rican side, I gonna be wild. You know what I'm right. saying? I'm gonna go hard. Right. right, go ahead. This is the book of Romans, chapter 6, verse 23. For the wages of sin, for the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. The wages of sin, the penalty, the wages of sin is what? Is death. What is it? Is death. What's that if you eat shrimp? Is death. What's that if you eat pork? Is death. See that? So if you eat that damn shrimp, that might be your last shrimp, king. The tail might fly on your throat, stick right there, your ass on the floor. Just gotta give you the hiding maneuver, bro. We don't want that. Cause you, because you messing with the Most High, you ain't messing with me. I don't eat shrimp, so you, you, you know what I'm saying? So you gotta come out of it, right? Think about it, put it in your mind constantly. When you eat that, that shrimp, I want you to feel guilty every single time. Because you have to get rid of it. And it's food, it ain't that hard. They got plant-based shrimp, don't they? Yeah. I was with him one time in Atlanta. He went up to my yo, we gonna eat plant-based. I'm like, ain't no damn plant-based shrimp, what the hell is that? They got it though. But I ain't gonna eat it, but they got it. You feel me? For you shrimp lovers, they got plant-based shrimp. And I said, I'm not gonna eat that. <laughs> Hebrews chapter 10, verse 31. It is a fearful thing. It is a what? A it's fearful a fearful thing. thing. It is a what? A fearful thing. To fall into the hands of the living God. If you fall into the hands of God, it's a fearful thing. You don't want to eat that last shrimp, and then next thing you know, you walk outside the next day, straight bullet flop out, boom, hit you in the neck. Right. Cause that's how God works. You think God is gonna play around that white Jesus that you got in your and people got in their mind? You think that's him? But this black God, this black Messiah, he not playing, bro. He gonna kill you if you keep disobeying this word. So we have to, and this is the fear of God is the beginning of wisdom. You have to fear God. Like, damn, he don't want me to eat that. It's in the Bible. I didn't write that. You gotta stop eating that unclean um stuff, King. Right? And even your woman, when you see her eating that damn swine, slap it out of hand. <laughs> hey, what the hell you doing? You want us, you want us to all get killed? Take this shit serious, can this is this understand the game? Even though we come, maybe joke, we laugh, we have fun, but it's not a game. You feel right. me? So, I hope you get rid of that unclean meat. Anything that's in the Leviticus law, the, the um, dietary laws, you have to get rid of it. Right, sis? All right. So, I hope you was edified, man, and I hope that you know what I'm saying. If you want to give it one of the brothers up here, we got brothers over here. You got the, we got the, the flyer, the phone number. Get in contact, bro. Lead your family to this kingdom, man, because we, we because we almost out of here. Right. I I, I won't present for you. Then we gonna wrap it up. The uh, book of First Corinthians, chapter one, verse eleven. I mean, excuse me, First Corinthians eleven uh, and three. But I have, I would have you know that the head of every man is Christ, and the head of the woman is the man. The head of who? The woman is the man. The head of who? The woman is the man. So who's the head of your household? Yeah. Right. All right. Sis, you, you cool with that, right? He's a man, he's the head of the household, right? Okay. And the head of Christ is God. So it's a hierarchy. It deals with order. You got God, Christ, man, woman, and child. You the head of your household, right? So you have to lead by example. If I'm in my house, my girl too, she used to eat all kinds of unclean shit. I was a little just shellfish. I couldn't eat that thing if I wanted to. But when I saw changing myself, she's looking at me like, and this nigga don't eat none of that. So when she saw what she cooking, now she don't even make those things anymore. And then she stopped eating damn shrimp herself. And she ain't even in the truth. She ain't even out here. But she stopped eating shrimp. All praises, right? Now I gotta get her to stop smoking. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But slowly but surely, when you see you change, everybody gonna change because you have to lead. The woman gonna follow regardless. Automatically, she won't follow you. Right? When a woman come around, who she looking for? Her baby daddy. She wanna know where that nigga at. Where, you, you, you know what I'm saying? Where my man at? She looking for you all the time. So you have to change within you, King, before you can change anybody else, right? right. When you change, the woman gonna change regardless if she see it or not. She gonna start wearing her dresses down low to the ground because you gonna say, damn, I like that dress. Like, when my girl, where she get dressed? I be looking at her in the mirror like this. <laughs> she be looking at me like, what you looking at? I'm like, I don't like that. You don't like that? No. Okay, she change it, right? Because this is not a game up here. Cause you know when I say things one time, it's just only one time and one time only. I ain't playing no games. This ain't that kind of house where I had to talk to five, um, um, five and six times. Right. My face says it all with me. And then she do what she needs to do. Sometimes she might go off and slip, but I gotta get her back in order. Cause the woman, you know, she kinda, you know the women are. They're kinda crazy, right? So you gotta get them in order. <laughs> right? So, but I hope you was edified though, King, you know what I'm saying? We're about to rain out here. 
But with that, I'm going to give all praises to the Most High, His Son. I would say, Kohalom, Yahabashim, Yahweh Shai. And with that, I say, Shalom. Shalom.